My mom also died like on Halloween day. And people think that's why I don't really celebrate that holiday. And I'm like, no, I don't celebrate Halloween because one year I dressed up as Hannah Montana, everybody thought I was RuPaul. <laughs> Whoa, what's up? This is crazy. Hi. I'm not gonna lie, I got too high before this. No. Now it's feeling like Shark Tank to me. It's insane. You guys smoke weed, right? Yeah? Y'all do ketamine? I love ketamine because it's one of those things where it's like, okay, if I watch Family Guy after, this is drug abuse. But if I journal after, I can call it a treatment. <laughs> and that's epic. I'm like not working right now, I got so much free time. I'm like thinking a lot about my mental health. I don't know, I feel like every cultured woman has been to the psych ward like once. <laughs> right, for like two weeks. Me personally, I was admitted in the classical way, you know, like against my will. And it's wild, because when I got there, I was like, you guys got it wrong. I'm not like those people. I don't belong here. And then they took me back to the unit and introduced me to a bunch of bitches I already knew. <laughs> I tried to flip it like I just fuck with crazy bitches because I'm inclusive. <laughs> it's messed up. My parents came to visit me in the mental hospital, and they cried because I was popular. Like, low-key, the Princess Diana of that place. It was, it was wild. Uh, I, I do have so much free time right now. I, like, signed up for a kick, kickboxing class. I had to, like, I had to quit. I had to quit, because, like, a fully grown man beat my ass. I was like, damn, didn't know that was legal. A little bit about me, I, I'm from Maryland, but I never went outside, so it doesn't really matter. I tell people I'm a lesbian just because that's easier than saying I'm into like women and DJs who don't speak, you know? <laughs> and I was raised Catholic, but I feel like if God was real, white people wouldn't have access to ukuleles. <laughs> that's just where I'm at with it. I tried listening to heavy metal for the first time the other day, immediately turned it off. You will not yell at me in my own home. <laughs> I have an interesting family. My brother, he like sells drugs, but not the kind I'm into. That's like having season passes to the Disneyland in Hong Kong. My dad's also gay, which is very Gen Z of me, I know. <laughs> and it's wild, because my parents got divorced when I was pretty young, but my dad didn't come out until I was like 18. And when he did, it was completely unnecessary. Because <laughs> my dad's been doing gay shit my entire life. <laughs> like waking me up to take me shopping. And then trying to make me wear a studded leather jacket. <laughs> Or like making his own kombucha in his closet. And then calling me uncultured when I won't drink it. Also like when he grills, everything got pineapple in it. Like why is my hot dog sweet? That's why I refuse to tell him I'm also gay. Like I don't want him knowing we have things in common. I also enjoy being homophobic to him on occasion. <laughs> when it's called for. I'm part of the dead mom club, my mom's dead. And it's like messed up, because after her funeral, we all went to hibachi. <laughs> which is like not what you're supposed to do. That's a festive ass meal. I was catching shrimp in my mouth with tears in my eyes. <laughs> It was like objectively comical. 
my mom also died like on Halloween day. And people think that's why I don't really celebrate that holiday. And I'm like, no, I don't celebrate Halloween because one year I dressed up as Hannah Montana, everybody thought I was RuPaul. <laughs> And then the year after that, I dressed up as Steve Jobs. Everybody thought I was just Rick Ross in a turtleneck. <laughs> I did just move into a one bedroom, which is cool. Uh, yeah, it's very cool. Cause I used to live with uh, three roommates, which is far too much. I live with one guy, two other girls. And I recently found out that the guy had been fucking the two other girls. And he has a girlfriend and she's pregnant. My life like Degrassi. <laughs> I had to be like, okay guys, new rule, no more crying in the common areas. I'm starting to feel like a tertiary character. <laughs> it's messed up. But it's cool, because I hate going to other people's houses, especially like straight guys' houses. Like, the last time I went over to a straight guy's house, I had to drink water out of a magic bullet. Then after all that water, I had to pee. So I go to the bathroom. It's only one square of one ply toilet paper left. I'm like trying to do the math. Guys, it dissolves in my pussy like a Listerine strip. I was like, what happened to matter cannot be destroyed. All right, thank you, my name's Asha Ward.